Still no sign of our internet. Dude, you look how I feel. I guess there's no avoiding it now. I have to go and give BT a ring. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? They're testing the line. Again, broadband is essential. It's particularly essential when you're stuck in the middle of the countryside. So it's something I've got to get sorted. However, I am planning a little evacuation. I think I'm going to leave this barren land of no internet and go somewhere that is a bit more internet fruitful. Also known as Jasper's grandparents' house. <sighs> I feel more relaxed already. Just the idea that I can Browse the internet at will. What an unbelievable mess. I've just got off the phone with BT and they were going to try and charge me £130 for somebody to come out here and, well, if the problem was on our end, so anything to do with the hub or the line into our house or anything like that, then it would have cost us 130 quid, And that got me all nervous because I don't want to spend that kind of money on basically nothing. So what I did was I suggested maybe we try a different home hub. So I got one of our old home hub threes out. What we had before was a home hub four. And guess what? Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The internet is now back on. Ah, oh, so I can go get my phone. Yes. Anyway, all's well that ends with working internet. Brilliant, now I can talk about this island that has gone completely 100% renewable energy. You might have heard about this. It's on the sort of Tesla YouTube channel feed. I'll put a link somewhere here, there, somewhere here. Yeah. So I watched this video the, that uh, SolarCity have put up. Well, SolarCity stroke Tesla, kind of the same thing now anyway. But it's basically about an island, the island of Tau. It used to be powered by diesel generators. Now it's powered by 60 Tesla power walls and a 1.4 megawatt solar array. Amazing. What's really awesome about it is it really demonstrates how realistic it is to actually go properly 100% renewable energy. It is doable. We just need to actually invest in the infrastructure, in the, in the production capacity for batteries and solar panels. The reality is it saves the island of Tau loads of money. If the whole of America tried to do that, they're not going to be saving money because the price of batteries and the price of solar panels will go whoosh. But that's not going to be the case if the production capacity is properly ramped up, which of course it would do if the demand was that high. So we just need to somehow find a way to push governments and individuals as well, to some extent, in the direction of taking their houses off grid, generating their own power, storing it, and making sure that the grid is designed in such a way that it can utilize that stored power when it needs to. Fantastic. Now I have to put today's blog post online. I'll see you in just a minute. Why does it do that with the colour? That really annoys me. It keeps monkeying with the colour temperature between different clips. I'm not sure how to sort that out. I need to spend some proper time with this camera learning how it works. Yeah. And take it out of auto because auto is, I don't think auto is good. No. Oh look, it, is, is it just me or is the, is the colour temperature changing again? With these solar panels and batteries or, or wind turbines and batteries, what you wind up with is actually a really quite dependable energy source that is both cheap and easy to maintain, good for the local economy because you're using local labor to install and to maintain it, what little maintenance it requires. You don't have to pay people to ship diesel to your island, which you might think isn't the kind of thing that we'd have to do here in the UK, but it basically is. We don't ship diesel, we ship oil in, and then we refine it. But still, 
The oil has to get here somehow. I mean, we make a tiny amount in the North Sea. We need far more than that for our various road transport, old-fashioned vehicles, most of which hopefully will be sorted. I think if you're interested in this particular video, you should you should have a little look. There isn't a massive amount of detail. It's all sort of quite, you know, it's an advert for Solar City basically, but it's a good advert. What I think is quite striking is how small the 1.4 megawatts of solar panels actually is compared to the, the size of the island. I mean, it takes up like a tiny little amount of room and it powers all, was it 100 houses there or something? Okie dokie, yeah, the color temperature seems to have gone and changed again. Very annoying. Right, I think, what do I think? What are we going, where are we going with this now? Um, just give me two seconds. Okay, so the good news is, at least my broadband is fixed. Yay! Bad news is it took me about seven hours to do that, so the last couple of vlog posts have been a bit of a, I won't call them an afterthought, but look, 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 it just totally changed the colour temperature again. I'll have to sort this out, seriously, because I like it now. I don't like it before, it was too orange. So definitely going to have to work out how this camera actually works. Right, okay, so anyway, good news is broadband's fixed which means I can leave the house and, and, and get ahead again with everything that I need to do and, and get it back on with life rather than just spending three hours every morning on the phone to BT. Excellent. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Oh, so you are never going to guess what the problem with the broadband actually is. Okay, what? It's actually not the BT hubs. Okay. It's not the BT line. It's the Chromecast audios. What? Yep. They've had a firmware update apparently. As I understand it, makes them work with the Google Home something or other. What it also does is send the BT hubs into a constant reset loop. Oh. So it just keeps resetting over and over again, which is why the old one works. Because the Chromecasts have never been on the network with that one before. Oh as soon as I link them up to that network, that one will start going bonkers as well.